This story should be dead, but Richard Sherman refused to let that happen. He has breathed new life into it with the flabbergasting stubbornness and pride. Two months ago, he and a local radio host, Jim Moore, had a testy exchange that ended with Sherman threatening to end Moore's career. Well, at least that's what happened, according to tape reporters and just about every Seahawk reporter in town. The Seattle cornerback seemed to be questioning the reality of an indisputable occurrence. In an interview that ran Monday morning, ESPN Terry Champion asked Sherman if he regretted what he said to Moore. His response. Because nobody ever knew what I said. Once again, sources say, who was there? Did anybody see it? Who was there? Who said it? So it was not correct. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what was correct. All you hear is he say, she say. I'm sorry, but this is insane. This isn't Sherman embellishing the truth or just downplaying a mistake. This is Sherman questioning whether a documented event ever took place at all. I mean, there is an audio of this thing. The sources Sherman questions are in the iPhones that recorded it. We played the exchange. You don't want to go there. You do not. I'll ruin your career. You'll ruin my career? How are you going to do that? I'll make sure you don't get your media pass anymore. Is that right? Yes. Yes, it is. What makes all this e even crazier is that Sherman took to Twitter later that day and expressed regret over making it personal with Moore. He could have repeated the sentiment on ESPN or even apologized, but instead gave the bizarre media is out to get me response. All right, Richard, here's the truth. The truth is that your off the field antics increasingly overshadow your on the fields who blindly support you because of the jersey you wear. You're repelling the more discerning fan in droves.